Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to choose the fiber optic cable to connect the IP camera and network video recorder. First, let's see what we have. This is the IP camera. Also, we have network video recorder. I have used the fiber optic cable to link both ends, so now the camera is live. Here we got one end of the fiber optic cable. You can see it's quite small. We cannot attach this terminal to the MVR or the camera directory. Technically, it's just a line travel around the cable. All these IP devices it need electricity signal, so it cannot get the optical signal for the cable directory. That's the reason why you can see there are two devices sitting both ends. It's called media converter. First, let's take a look at the, the one sitting next to the recorder. There's the input and output. From the input, the media converter is connecting to the fiber optic cable. From the output, we can see the power. The media converter still needs the power source. Also, it's the one we're familiar with, it's RJ45. So from this port, we got the electricity signal. We can connect into the lighter switch or NVR. And let's move to the edge. It's pretty much the same. Instead, it's just the outer tight media converter. Also, one thing different, this media converter also support PoE. So it can supply, supply both power and data to the IP camera. We don't need additional power source. The power is just coming from this outer type media converter. I think you may notice this one. Actually, it's quite important. Let, let me just move out. This is what we say is SRP transceiver. Why I brought up this one? This one is going to determine what kind of fiber optic cable you can use. Generally, there are two kinds of fiber optic cable, single mode or multi-mode. The diameter of the core of these two are different. So how to choose? I will recommend that you use the single mode fiber optic cable. The reason is because the single mode can achieve longer distance than the multi-mode. You will see many multi-mode applications in the data center like the ON2, ON3, ON4. And here, this is the single mode fiber optic cable. And when you, when you have the media converter and you need this SRP transceiver, this is the one convert the digital signal and the optical signal or vice versa. This one determines what kind of fiber optic cable you're going to use. You, you, you need single mode, you need to choose the SRB transceiver with single mode supported. Otherwise, otherwise, it's not going to work. The second thing for the fiber optic cable is the connector. This is called LC connector. We also have the SC or ST and the other type. The most popular one now too is the LC and SC. And the LC is about half size of the SC. Now we always looking for the more high density wiring solution. So the LC is become more and more popular because it's more compact than the SC. Okay, now first let me just put back the SAP module. And I'm going to connect the connector. Okay, immediately we can see live video. That's one of the advantage of the fiber optic cable. It can achieve long distance, fast speed, and very low latency. After I plug in, you can see the media video immediately pop up. But there's still one more challenge from the fiber optic cable, it's the connector. We know the connectors look different as the RJ45. Actually, physically, it's also different. The RJ45 Ethernet cable is the copper. So we can use the crank tool to make the connector. But for the fiber optic cable, it's just a plastic. We cannot crash or crank it to make the connector. Otherwise, the light cannot travel through the point. So technically, we, we need to use the fusion tool. And we will use this punch code and cut, just cut half. We got one end, we fusion to the one end of the fiber optic cable and put another end 
to fusion, make the fusion, it technically just join two fiber optic cable together. We cannot crash, but we need to join it together because the fiber optic cable is very, very thin. It's just maybe more small like here. So it requires special tool, also the skill to make the connector. What is the other solution if we don't have the tool to fusion the terminal? We also can use this factory pre-made fiber optic cable. You don't see any fusion point. The reason is because the terminal is being persists in the factory. It doesn't need to fusion the both ends to get the connector. Also, the whole cable is test. So there's no need to worry about the, fusion, the quality of the fusion. It just simply plug and play. It saves the time to wire the cable from the camera to the recorder. The other thing, as we mentioned, the fiber optic cable is quite thin, but when you see it's quite large, actually this is not the real size of the fiber optic cable. They are still adding the armor, also the PVC jacket, because it will be easy to broke if you just leave the fiber optic cable outdoor. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.